Step 1. Offload Equipment The operating model process starts when a truck comes back to the yard with equipment that has recently been called off rent. Truck lanes are defined on the yard, so the trucks can drive without being blocked by equipment. Trucks will stop once and will offload equipment in the check-in triage area. After offloading the equipment, the driver will load equipment for the next run, which is located in the delivery stage area. Step 2. Check-in Equipment The check-in area is located next to the truck lanes in the fuel island. This process can be performed by a driver, a yard worker, or a mechanic. Check-in includes fueling the equipment and writing all information on the pickup ticket, such as fuel added and hours of the equipment, so the contract can be closed. Step 3. Triage Equipment The objective of triage is to check the equipment to identify if the piece needs an A service, B service, or anything more. If the equipment is visibly broken, or an issue was noted on the pickup ticket, or the rainbow tag, then the equipment is parked in the C bucket. If no issue was noted, the triage employee checks the service tag on the equipment and or the pickup ticket to identify when the next preventative maintenance is due. If a service is due within 30 days, the equipment is parked in the B bucket. If no issue was noted and no service is due within 30 days, the equipment is parked in the A bucket. The buckets are located close to the entrance of the shop bays. The goal is to empty all the buckets by the end of the day. Equipment will either be made available or diagnosed with parts ordered and put in deadline. Step 4. Service Equipment Mechanics see equipment in the buckets and know what piece they will be working on next. A services can be performed on the yard. The employee in charge of the A service will open and close its work order when the service is completed. After the equipment service is completed, it is staged to wash. B services are brought to the mechanics bay. Filters are added and the work order is opened and closed when service is completed. After the equipment service is completed, it is staged to wash. C services are brought to the mechanic's bay. The mechanic opens a work order when he starts working on the piece of equipment. The equipment is diagnosed and parts are ordered. The mechanic adds labor and parts to the work order and changes the equipment status to deadline or hard down. The equipment will then be parked in the deadline area. If an issue is identified during the A or B service, the equipment is then parked in the C bucket. Step 4A – Deadline Equipment Parts are put on the work order as they are received and put on a bin for each piece of equipment in deadline. Every piece in deadline is diagnosed with an open work order. The color of the index card is changed to yellow or red, and the equipment is brought back to the shop to get repaired. The mechanic updates the parts and labor on the work order, and the work order is closed when the repair is completed and staged to wash. Step 5. Equipment Cleaning Equipment is washed after the service or repair is completed. Equipment can be washed before the service if needed. In those cases, the customer will be charged for heavy cleaning. Step 6. Equipment Ready Every piece that is washed is green tagged and parked on the ready line. The ready line is organized so every piece of equipment can be easily retrieved. Equipment on the ready line is subject to equipment quality audit. Step 7. Equipment Stage for Loading The employee in charge of staging obtains a reservation report and stages equipment for the drivers at least twice a day. Equipment is staged for the drivers in the staging area that is located close to the truck lanes. After offloading equipment, 
the incoming driver will load equipment for the next run, which is located in the delivery stage area. All necessary paperwork is prepared and brought to the driver.